friends, welcome to Friendly Oils YouTube channel. I wanted to talk to you about one of the ingredients that's in my Friendly Oils Happy Scalp. There's lots of oils in the Happy Scalp, <laughs> but the first one I wanna talk about is rosemary. And I have all kinds of essential oils and I get them at um, reduced prices, buying them in bulk and with memberships and things like that. And then I take all of the oils that I know benefit for hair growth and scalp health, and I put them into one blend in a t with some carrier oils that are also good oils for hair growth and scalp health. And then I make it into one blend, and I advise everyone to use the oils with the trifecta hair care method that I teach. <laughs> and so the first oil I wanna talk about is rosemary. Now I'm using it as an essential oil. You can get rosemary at the grocery store and you can um, put it in water or you know, kind of soak it in water and use that water and spray it on your hair and things like that. Um, I don't know how much rosemary costs at the store, but that's an idea because rosemary by itself is going to be supportive. Uh, the essential oils are definitely the, you know, the pure form of the, of the uh, rosemary that they've distilled it and, and brought it out, the oil from the plant. And so I prefer oils myself, but you can do it however you want. I am called friendly oils because my purpose is to help my friends with their hair. I know a lot of people with long hair. I'm an apostolic minister's wife and I'm an apostolic licensed minister. And so um, our organization, we go by the scriptures and there are plenty of things that we do in the Bible that are Bible based. And one of them is the women do not cut their hair because of the scriptural teaching on that, that Paul taught. A woman's hair is her glory. And so I like to help people with hair. I also have a Facebook group called Pentecostal Hairstyles for the Updo Challenged, where Pentecostal women, women who may not even be Pentecostal, they just like long hair and they wanna know how to grow theirs out and they wanna know how to fix their hair. And we have all kinds of teachers on there that, that post live or well live videos or videos and TikTok videos, but it's all about hair. And we have over 20,000 members on that Facebook group. So I'm not paid to be an admin on that. I'm not, you know, trying to get rich. I want to help people who have long hair and give them resources. So this is just one that I wanna talk about. And then I wanna talk about one element of that helpful resource of Friendly Oils Happy Scalp Oil Blend. So rosemary essential oil is a popular natural remedy for promoting hair growth. And a lot of people have already heard about it. You might see it, oh, it's rosemary in your shampoo. Well, that's good as long as they aren't adding a whole lot of other chemicals in there too. But they know that rosemary is a good thing and so they put a little bit in their product and then they can say it's in there and they aren't telling you everything else that's in it. And so there are some that are better than others and you're welcome to try them all. But this that I offer is the oil blend. And it is known, rosemary itself is known as a natural remedy for promoting hair growth and maintaining scalp health. So some of the benefits, like we said, is hair growth that improves circulation. The other thing that improves circulation is, oh, I don't have it here, my uh, the scalp brush, which you can purchase a scalp brush from me too. Um, I do sell those to go with what I teach, but you can also get them on Amazon, Walmart, Target, wherever you want. But I have them if you'd want one from me because all of my sales go to support our church's payment, <laughs> church payment. Anyway, um, rosemary oil stimulates the blood flow to the scalp, promoting 
healthy hair growth. It enhances cellular regeneration, I mean, cellular generation and rosemary's, rosemary oil's antioxidants and nutrients encourage new cell growth, leading to thicker, fuller hair. And it balances hormones, which we ladies, we need that sometimes, we gotta admit. So rosemary oil's androgen blocking properties help regulate hormones and anti-inflammatory properties soothe and calm the scalp. Also, rosemary is known for fighting infections. Rosemary oil has antimicrobial properties and those are, those prevent scalp infections and promote healthy environment for health growth or for hair growth. And it relieves stress and tension. So rosemary oil's calming effects reduce stress-related scalp issues and promote overall well-being. Oils are great. Essential oils are great. Even if you just inhale them, if you diffuse them in a diffuser, if you mix them with your blends like we're doing with the happy oils for hair. I use oils for other things besides hair. But one of the things that rosemary does is help with stress. And it is in the blend that I make. It's one of the many oils that are in the blend. And then um, it strengthens the hair follicles, enhances color and vibrancy, reduces graying and brittle hair. It's natural and chemical free. It's an alternative to commercial hair products. We think, because we're conditioned to think from commercials and things like that, that we have to buy something in a bottle off of the shelf in order to use it. But we can use our own natural things as shampoo, skin, lotion, soap. We can do that, but we just don't think about it because it's, it's there and it's on the commercials and we feel like they have all the answers because they tell us they do. Well, guess what? Sometimes they don't. So rosemary can even reduce graying and brittle hair. <laughs> and um, the rosemary essential aerial oil for hair growth and scalp, scalp health, you wanna mix a few drops with a carrier oil like coconut, olive, or jojoba, and give yourself a scalp massage. I don't really like coconut because it's kind of, <laughs> it's, it's, I call it a greasy oil. <laughs> it's an oily oil. I put, um, I, I put the rosemary and my blend is, is made of aloe and argan oils, which I call the non oily oils. <laughs> so you can add them, add rosemary to your shampoo or conditioner for an invigorating treatment or you can use it in a hair mask or deep conditioning treatment. But remember, you always want to dilute rosemary. <laughs> it's, it's one of the hardy oils. And then you might like to perform a patch test before using it on your scalp or hair. But in my blend, rosemary is just one. So be sure to watch our next video and we're going to be talking about peppermint. And I have many other videos that you can watch and as far as our hair growth, um, our we call it the trifecta hair, hair care method. All that is, is that you only use shampoo on your head. You don't use, um, you can use the oils and you use shampoos, but you don't use the conditioner. The conditioner just gets in there and it really builds up and you don't need it. This is the newest hair and you just don't need it. And I can go just like this, you guys, and I can go like this, and there is nothing underneath. There's nothing, you know, I used to be able to do that when I would use conditioner, and I'd have all kinds of just, you know, like a gummy white stuff, <laughs> you know, like build up. And I don't have that because I don't put conditioner up there, and that frees my scalp up to grow, for the hair to grow. And then, so from your scalp to the nape of your neck, like right about here, that is the first area one of the trifecta hair method. And it just takes shampoo or oils and scalp massage daily. And of my oil blend, I recommend one to three sprays at the crown 
and then maybe all over. And when you massage, you just go like this. You can use your fingertips, but those scalp brushes feel better, I'm gonna be honest. But you just pick it up and you put it down and you put it in a circle. So pretend like if I had my massage brush, I would do it that way. And I even spray the oil onto my massage brush. So then your second uh, level of the trifecta hair care method <laughs> would be the length, half of the length between your nape and the end. And then you just half that off and wherever that is, that's where you could put some conditioner because this stuff has been out there. It has had some, you know, curling or just like wear and tear on it. But then this part, the end, the part number three, this is the part where you need oils and you can put conditioner on it, but just don't omit the oils. And this part up here really doesn't need the oils as much. I mean, you can put it on there, but you, if you wanna save your oils, which costs a little more, <laughs> Um, and for $10 for 10 milliliters of what my oils cost, that's really not too much. I mean, I know I've spent a lot more than $10 on hair care products. And we, one day we sprayed my spray bottles of the 10 mil, uh, milliliter bottle. And there, we did 120 sprays and we only got the bottle, I put water in it and we only got it sprayed halfway. So it could have went 240 <laughs> sprays. So if you're putting on one to three sprays, that bottle is gonna last you a while. Now, obviously you can put more than that, but I just suggest one to three of the, well, the scalp up here, one to three, and then the ends oil, one to three at the end. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, or you can email me, Sherry Parrot, um, Sherry Parrot at gmail.com or friendlyoils at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.